guys, welcome to another episode of our Build Breakdown. My name is Andre and I'm here with Ned. You can find him on Instagram at Moon Rover. Ned, introduce us to your truck. Hey, thank you for the introduction. Happy to be here. This is my uh, 2019 Ford Ranger XLT. Pretty much have it decked for camping and overlanding. Very nice. And I'm sure there's a lot to go through. So why don't we walk around the car and you give us a little bit of details about it? Yeah, let's take a look. All right, I see there's a lot going on here. I definitely want to touch up on the overland build you got going on. But before that, I want to talk about these wheels. I see you have some Falcons. You want to talk about those? Yeah, these are uh, Falcon T1, negative five offset here. They're wrapped in KO2s, 285, 70, 17s, I believe. Uh, so a little under 33 inches here. Okay. I see you have a lift going on as well. You want to talk about that? How, how big is that? Yeah, so this is a 2.5 inch lift. Um, I'm rocking Eibach Pro Truck coilovers, front and rear shocks. So I think that's from factory actually. I think I can okay. actually go up to 3.5 inches. Okay, now one thing I know for a fact is when most people run a lift with bigger tires, they have some issues with the fenders. Do you have to do any cutting here? Tremendous cutting. Um, for 33s, you don't have to do too much cutting, but on Rangers, we have front and rear intrusion beams that kind of get in the way. So I actually ended up just cutting those out completely. We welded a, a nice bracket to the cab mount to give it some support. We actually did end up cutting the front bumper right there, as you can tell, just a little bit to kind of give me more clearance here. Um, I do have these uh, Rough Country Pocket Fender Flares that I added on recently, so you can't see them, but underneath here, I did have to do a lot of cutting to the fender as well. Yeah, I was going to mention, you know, uh, you mentioned the negative five offset on these, which, you know, most off-road guys, they're either ru uh, running super aggressive on negative 12 or just flush on plus zero or a plus one. So what made you want to go negative five on the offset here? I mean, for that aggressive stance, am I right? Yeah. You know, I mean, you can't really tell now anymore because I added these fender flares, so it looks flush. But when I didn't have these bad boys on, that, aggress that uh, offset was aggressive. It was just poking out there, maybe like two inches. It looked nice. Very nice. Let's talk about some of these lights. What do you got going on here? Yeah, so uh, a lot of these lights are pretty much Bajas, with the exception of the light bar there. That's a Cali raised light. Um, but I got my ditch lights here. And yes, guys, these are ditch lights. They're meant to be pointed at the ditch of your vehicle to see where you're going. You mentioned you wanted to uh, do some more cutting here and insert two of these, right? Yeah, so if we move a little bit forward to the front of the vehicle here, in front of the truck, you can see I only got one fog here. But the goal is I do want to cut out this entire frame here, weld up a bracket to be able to have two sets of fog, uh, fog lights there. All right, now, I don't know about you guys, but I definitely can't wait. So let's get to the back of this truck and let's talk about some of the build you got going on for this Overland. Let's get into it. All right, man, there's a lot going on here. I'm excited. Let's start talking about it. What do you have going on on top? Yeah, so up top, I got several vault cases from Pelican. In this particular box, I just keep camp chairs, camp lighting, pretty much miscellaneous things you have around the campsite. That right there is that water port, holds eight gallons of water. Obviously, you gotta have a fire extinguisher there in case there's an engine bay fire. Let's talk about the rack you have going on here. I see you have some extensions going on as well. Yeah, you this is- talk about that? Absolutely. This is a uh, eBay special bed rack that I just got off eBay, obviously. <laughs> um, and when I first got it, it actually didn't have this extension bracket here, um, but I added that because it gave me four inches of clearance because I do have a deck drawer system on the inside. So it's just kind of helpful to put things in and out without having to open up the whole thing. Um, definitely want to talk about this bumper right here. Now this looks super aggressive and I see that there's a lot of modification going on to even make this fit. So how did you get this on there? Yeah, so this is a coastal off-road rear high clearance bumper. Man, this took some time, a lot of cutting, a lot of welding. Um, so basically you just need to remove your factory bumper as well as any like other hitch accessories to it. Take the bumper into a shop, get it welded up. You do need to cut some uh, fenders here on the side. So it did involve some extensive cutting on the exterior as well as some interior panels. And then it just bolts on, it's all bolted on. You wanna show how it works? Yeah, let's take a look. So the cool thing about this bumper is that it does have a swing out here, which I like to use for my tables here whenever I go camping. I love to have a way to eat, grill and put my food on here. We're gonna back that up a little bit more. And then it just opens on up here. On the inside, you see my jack drawer system there. Got a hatch cover here for some more food preparation surfaces here. Really cool company. All right, Ned, that was a lot of great information, man. The car looks amazing. I'm uh, very curious to see how it drives. You want to go for a ride? Hey, man, I've been waiting for you to say that all day. Let's go. Holy 
This is definitely a smooth ride. I saw you have the uh, all terrains on. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, preferably I like those KO2s. And a lot of people get like Nido grapplers and uh, you know other Falcons, but I've had experience with the KO2s. You know, wouldn't have it any other way. You don't see any uh, issues running ATs when you go overland. Yeah, you know, it gets a little loud here in the cabin. You know, you kind of get that noise from the tires on the highways at high speeds, but. Yeah doesn't bother me. You mentioned uh, uh, one thing you said before which was kind of interesting is that you upgraded from the RAV4 to the Ranger but it's like it's as if you're driving another crossover. Yeah I mean because it's a four cylinder with a little TV turbo boost you know you feel it when you're at high speeds but it just feels it feels like a crossover that the drive quality is amazing it doesn't feel like I'm driving a truck and sometimes I forget that I'm like oh crap I'm in a truck. <laughs> um, what made you want to go with the Overland build? I, I love camping, you know, yeah. there are two ways you can go about it. You can go rock crawling or overlanding. Some people do the best of both worlds, but I tend to lean towards overlanding. I prefer to be in the great outdoors as opposed to puckering up in a really gnarly rock bed. Yeah, have you tried rock crawling before? Yeah, you know, I've, I've done, I've had my fair share on the trail, you know, it's not a pavement princess. I've taken this out. I've, you know, I've hit the undersides of my truck, you know, it's just not for me. It's not fun. It's, yeah. it's stressful, man. I yeah. just prefer. You know, I prefer outdoors. Yeah, camping. it's a lot more peaceful too. A lot more peaceful. Absolutely. I don't have to worry about breaking a tie rod or popping an axle. I saw the uh, Falcon T1s. What made you choose the the Falcons? You know, what made you choose the T1 specifically? Because they have a few nice looking wheels. You know, I love the way they look. Um, I'm more about affordability and functionality, and I think the Falcon T1s were just a little bit of the best of both worlds. They look great. I'm a big sucker for bronze, and it just it looked awesome on the truck, man. It looked great. All right, Ned, thanks for coming out, showing us your Ford Ranger. It was definitely a fun ride. Yeah, man, absolutely. I really appreciate you uh, letting me come out here, rip the rig around, get crazy, get dirty. I think you might need a new pair of pants, but <laughs> hey, it was a blast. I really appreciate you having me guys out of here. Of course, man, of course. And thanks, you, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see more build breakdowns, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. If you do want some more helpful content or resources, make sure to check out our website at wheelsuppliers.com. Until next time. All right, thanks, buddy. Ned. See you next Good time, man.